Welcome to Secretary's Nail Art. Today I'm going to show you my most recent haul that I did from Charlie's Nail Art. I've never purchased from Charlie's Nail Art before so I wanted to just dive into it and I got one of these loot bags that they have. And I wanted to show you to give you an idea of what these loot bags can actually contain. I did purchase this with my own money. I'm in no way associated with Charlie's Nail Art. Just so that's out of the way so let's open up some nail mail. The loot bag costs £6.99 and it promises to keep about £15 worth of goodies. So let's see what we got in this one. The first thing I found in my bag was these French nail tip guides. There are three different shapes to them, so that gives a nice versatility. I can really see myself using the middle one here to create a Wonder Woman nail art look. I think that would be totally awesome and for DC fans out there, it's practically a must. In the bag there was also this really cutesy tween nail stickers. So they have like a shoelace design and uh, some piglets, I'm sure it's like a cartoon character from something and some lightning rods and some flowers as well as ice cream and some stars. And we'll definitely get some use of the stars and the clouds, the rest of them I'm not so sure. The second pack of nail stickers has leopard prints as their theme and if you wore those lip tattoos, well I bet you're going to recognise these because I'm pretty sure there was a design that looked exactly like these lips here. There's also some leopard prints with a lace border. I think are really cute but they are way too small. They are itty bitty tiny. If you have a child like four or five years old this is probably going to be perfect in terms of size but they're not even half of the width of my little finger and I have quite small nails so that's something to keep in mind if you're gonna order these in my loop bag there was also a set of vinyls these um, skull black background with bones and some stars are really cool because I discovered that they are glow in the dark. This is my Halloween nails just sorted. My new house is in an area with a lot of kids so I think this is gonna be super cool to spook some kids with. <laughs> I have, to, I have to work on that laugh. <laughs> that would not sound like a witch. <sighs> Awkward. And now over to the things in small bags part of this loot bag. Some purple moons. Pink moons. Black moons. <laughs> Purple diamonds, white squares on squares, for the perfect 70s party on your nails. Highly glossy red ribbons, pink pearlescent hearts, studs or spikes with a pearlescent finish. Royal blue rhinestones. Looking at this bag, I thought it contained like crushed seashells, but it's not. It's holographic shreddies. There are all sorts of different sizes and shapes and everything, and it's holographic. Have you wondered lately how deep your hollow -hole is? And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I actually went to Urban Dictionary and wrote how deep is your hollow definition. You're welcome. And then there were butterflies. They're so big they, co they will cover my entire thumbnail, which are quite large. So I won't be able to use them. If you have really long nails, they might be cool to use. But for me, I just don't have that kind of nail length. 
this bag contains two bunnies with a red ribbon in their hair, two skulls that are red, two black hearts that have sort of rhinestones embedded in them. I think they are super awesome and gothic. I love them. Turquoise stars and a flower. Then we have some ribbons. There are two of each shade, green, purple, yellow, sort of a brown, burgundy and a light blue with a rhinestone in the middle. And then you have these more metallic ones, they're also ribbons. And they come in a blue, green, pink, silver and a brown. I think they're super cool. Alia's Throw Day Looking Glass is still running in the cinema and I think these will be perfect for that. They will also be perfect for your next poker night and I think I'll get a lot of use out of them. And then we have some female slices. The theme here seems to be Easter and Angry Birds. There are some Angry Birds characters in here. There are a, a black parcel, like a present with a ribbon on top. There's also a lot of Easter things like Easter eggs. There's a, uh, a lot of chickens in different sizes with sad eyes, confused look, some bunnies. Yeah, so next Easter, I don't think I'm gonna be wondering what I need to do with my nails. These Hello Kitties are super cute. They also super big and just like the butterflies, if I put them on my nail, you're not gonna be able to see the nail at all. Especially not now <laughs> when they're so short. But I think it will be super cool when I get a little bit more length on my nails again. The loop bag contains three different foil strips. As you can see here, this is a uh, very hypnotic holographic gold one. As you can see, it's all very mesmerizing. It's too bad like you don't get the whole thing on your nail, but uh, only a part, part of it. So I would try to aim at the smaller circles there. This top is super cool. I wonder how well they transfer, so I will have to try that later. You can check out my blog if you wonder too. is zebra stripes. As you can see they're a different sort of shape to the stripes um, and it repeats the pattern every centimeter or so. The last foil strip is again holographic. It has a lot of different shapes on it but I can't really seem to understand what is on it. So I think this is a Rorschach test. It's also holographic which means that it's even more useful as a Rorschach test. So what do you see in the hollow? Do you see birds flying? Do you see leopards jumping at their prey? Or do you see something entirely different? Let me know in the comments below. The loot bag contained a couple of glitters in these small pots with a curved underside. This one reminds me a lot about China Glazed Ruby Slippers. You can see it has the same sort of red golden quality to it. I think it would be perfect for Christmas. I did notice that this pot seems to be filled a little bit less than the previous one and it uh, contains a gorgeous silver glitter. It's the same type of pot with a curve in the side and it does not look like it wants to be held today. <laughs> then we have some coppery orange hex glitters. I think these are really cool and I will definitely get some use for them around Halloween and when the fall arrives. I think it'd be super cool. I know you shouldn't really limit yourself to season for when you wear what colours, but I'm a sort of habitable person that when I see orange shades I tend to think fall. Another fall colour 
or a color that makes me think about fall is this deep purple flocking powder. I was a bit surprised to see flocking powder as it's been quite a while since it was trendy. Uh, I do already own a very similar purple shade from another company in the flocking powder. So if you are wondering if there's any similarities in these powders or if there's any one that is better than the others, let me know and I will look into it. The colour accuracy on the screen is not quite there, but I can tell you that if you have the Paint the Rainbow Bar um, drawstring bag from November, it's the exact same shade of purple. And that wraps up my Charlie Nail Art haul for this time. It was super cool to see what these loot bags contain. I absolutely love loot bags because you never know what you get. And I just get really excited when I don't know what I'm getting and just sitting down and trying to find out what you want from new stores like this because I've never ordered from Charlie's Nail Up before. It's just a really daunting task and you have to sit through a lot of pages and scroll in and I just don't like it and it means I end up not buying anything at all from them. So I think that was a cool way to get introduced to a new company. I hope you liked this video, if you did give it a big thumbs up and if there's any of the products here that you'd like to see more of, of me to do a nail art look with them, let me know which product and I will get right to it because that's what Secretary is all about.